You got 10 seconds before I rip you apart. What the hell are you doing here? Wait a minute. Now, wait. I didn't come here to make any trouble. Five seconds. I... I came here to apologize. That's the truth. I swear. I'm listening. Listen. I, uh... I know what you must think of me. Oh, you couldn't possibly. What, um... Happened at the wedding was uh, unforgivable. But I give you my word now. I, I didn't plan that. Oh, really? You, you just happened to pop into town on the day that I was being married, huh? It was, uh, it was just something that happened. Uh, I was acting rash and impulsive and, and stupid. Two seconds after it happened, I realized what a fool I was. So did everybody else in town. I know that. And I've got a lot of fences to mend, starting with you and Laura. I want to prove to you and to everybody how wrong I was. Now, Luke, will you let me do that? The best thing you can do for Laura and me is to get lost. Well, as far as I'm concerned, uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, just, just one thing I want for you and Laura. Complete happiness. I'm touched. Now, listen. I'm going to stay here in Port Charles. Okay, now just take it easy, okay? Because I want to start a new life for myself. I want you guys to have a good life. I want to prove to everybody that I'm a decent guy and I just want what's best for everybody. Go on. What more can I say? I want to start a new life. I want you and Laura to have a new life. Luke, I apologize. All right, you said it. Now get off my boat. Sure. Oh, no. There's just one more thing. About Laura's divorce papers. The, the ones you stole. The ones that are still in Mexico, right? Yes, that you stole. I, did. I admit that I stole them. They're in my luggage, and they're being shipped up. When they arrive, I'll give it to you. That Mexican divorce can be contested at any time, and you know it. I do know that. But I give you my word. I'm not going to contest that divorce. I wouldn't take your word for the time of day. Why won't you trust me? <laughs> oh, that's good. Why wouldn't I trust you? That's beautiful. I look, I know how you feel. I don't blame you. But as God is my witness, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not going to make any more trouble. And when the papers come from Mexico, I'll give them to you. What else can I do? That one's easy. Get off my boat now. I'm going. But I meant what I said. When the papers come, I'll give them to you. You got my word. Where you been? Mr. Kelly's. I mean, didn't you get my knife? Oh, mister. Obviously. You two were tucked away in your stateroom for quite a while this afternoon. <laughs> <clears throat> How was Kelly's? It was rather mysterious, actually. Mysterious? What, uh, Rose put some homegrown herbs in the chowder? <laughs> no, actually, uh, Laura's father was there. He was? Mm-hmm. Was he with my mother? Well, she was kind of leaving as we walked in. Rick was sort of talking to himself. He what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's more of a matter. Yeah, let me hear you, Laura, Dolly. Your father is really kicking up his heels. <laughs> what, what are you trying to say? What, what I'm saying, sweet thing, is your father is buying jewels. A jewel for a lady, I think. He is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we sent him to a reputable dealer, Captain Vacuum. He wanted him to go around to Benny's, but I vetoed that one. <laughs> oh, good, good, good thinking, Robert. That's the least I could do well, for the second, guy. Wait a second, what about the lady? Did he say who? Not one word, but let me tell you, she had better brace herself because your father has got that determined glint in his eyes. Ooh. If anybody that knows the glint, it's this one here. Mm -hmm. Listen, any decisions? Oh, about the club. Yeah. We had a long talk. And? And it's a go, yes, baby? I'm so excited. Right. I've got to find my wardrobe today. Dr. Robert, stop her before she buys the shoes. Listen, I had a few ideas over lunch. Oh, you mean I didn't dig up your whole thought process, Alan? No, Tiffany. No. Now, listen, come over here. I mean, yeah. if we can get hold of those plans, we can do much of the work ourselves. Yeah, well, that's what we talked about doing. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, we could knock out a few walls and stuff here and there, couldn't we? 
a couple of saws and a battering ram, we're in business. A few sticks of dynamite, you got it. Good idea. Now. Luke, you mean we're all going to live here while this is going on? It's going to be a mess. Well, it'll be a bit noisy and probably messy too, but think of the money we'll save in portal to portal pay. And it's practical. And overtime. Yeah. Oh, isn't this exciting? I mean, just think while they're working with their saws or whatever it is that they use, we can be working on the color schemes. That'd be nice. <laughs> If we can hear ourselves think. What do you? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. I, when oh. is this going to start? The well, sooner the better, partner. I'm on your... Oh, isn't this wonderful? Aren't you excited? Not excited. Laura? Yeah. I, yeah, sure. The enthusiasm is deafening. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just that I had hoped that Luke would take a little bit of time off after we first got married. You know, to just be together before you got all involved in your work again. Oh, baby, wait. Uh... Whether I'm involved in business or not, you're always number one with me. You always will be, you know that, don't you? Don't you? You say so. I say so. And I also say this. With everyone present, I promise you someday we'll live on dry land. <laughs>